Okay, uh, hello, we're on the continuation of Lesson 6B. Uh, last time we discussed the MVUE or the minimum variance and bias estimate for S1. Let's proceed with the standard error of an estimate. Or the standard error of an estimate or data hat is its standard deviation. So basically, you just need to get the standard deviation of your uh, variance of your data hat. Okay? So if the standard error involves a known parameter that can be estimated, substitute of this value, pwede natin siyang gamitin using the stand, estimated standard error of the sample. So sa sample na siya. So pag estimated siya from the sample data, and the sample data is just your standard deviation over square root na n. Okay? Now, let's have this example 7-5, the thermal conductivity. Uh, this observation, uh, this data, we have 10 observation of I, which measure the thermal conductivity of arm co ion. Since hindi natin alam yung data of the population, we can get the standard error. So, ito yung mean, ito yung standard error. You can use your calculator to determine this one. So, from this one, if you calculate the standard error, since the standard error is 0 0.2, ito yun, yung standard deviation, compare sa mean, pag dinivide mo yung 0.284, it's from 41.924, this is just 0.2%. So, that means that the mean estimate is fairly precise kasi sobrang baba ng deviation ng data natin. So, we can very confident state that the true population mean is between this value, yung 41.924 plus minus twice ng standard deviation or your error. So, the value between 41.744 to 42.104 is the range of value that we have uh, good confidence that the true mean of the population will fall here. Okay? So, the mean square error. The next one is that if you want to determine the mean square error of an estimator, this is just equal to the expected value minus theta hat. This is the estimate estimator minus your theta square. So, this one is like the variance. Okay, variance. So, we can rewrite this one as expected value of theta hat minus e theta squared plus your theta minus e theta squared. Where this expression is the variance of your uh, parameter, the estimated value. And your theta minus e theta squared is the bias. Square. So, meaning the mean square error, MSE, of the estimator is equal to the variance of the estimator plus the bias. Pag kukunin nyo yung MSE, just the variance of your sample plus the uh, bias square. Okay? So, another parameter that we can utilize in estimation is the relative efficiency. So, relative efficiency is that the MSE is an important criterion for comparing two estimator. And this is equal to the ratio of the two MSE of your uh, data hat or the estimator. If the relative efficiency is less than 1, so pag mas mababa to, so this one is uh, less than 1, yung value niya, then we can conclude that the first estimator is superior than the second estimator. Take note, MSE should be small. Okay? While for optimal estimator, an, uh, a bias estimator can be prepared than an unbiased estimator if it has a smaller MSE. Okay? So meaning, kahit na bias yung estimator mo, kung mababa naman yung MSE niya, then you can utilize that. Bias estimator are occasionally used in linear regression. So, sa linear regression kasi medyo mahirap i-line up in a single expression or single line that will uh, estimate the value of your 
uh, prediction. So an estimator whose MS is smaller than that of any other estimator is what we call the optimal estimator. Okay, so as you can see here, so figure 7-8, a bias estimator, theta hat, that has a smaller variance, ito yun, smaller yung variance niya, as compared to this, uh, the bias estimator. And bias estimator. Okay, now, moments defined. So for moments defined, so moments of an estimate, let's say we have the random sample of x1 to xn, from a probability distribution of f of x, where f of x can either be a discrete or a continuous probability function. So, from discrete mass, from continuous density. The k population moment or distribution, your e of k is equal to k equals 1 to infinity. So, the k sample moment is just this one, 1 over n, summation of x, i, k, from 1 to n. Summation lang siya ng uh, square. If k is called the first moment, then this is just your uh, population moment, which is the mean. And the sample moment, which is your x bar. The sample mean is the moment estimator of the population. So let's have moment estimator. So the moment estimator, theta 1, uh, theta hat 1, theta hat 2, to theta hat m are found by equating the first m population moment to the first m sample moment. Solving the resulting simultaneous equation for the unknown parameter. So, bibigyan ka lang ng mga expression and calculate the estimate. Okay, so let's have some example. Let's have this one. For the normal distribution moment estimate. Suppose that we have x1 to xn as a random sample from a normal distribution. And we have our uh, expected value of x equals mean, the mean of the population, which is mean at saka, uh, sigma squared. While the expected value of uh, x squared is equal to the mean squared plus theta squared. So, uh, dahil alam natin na mean yung value na, let's calculate yung sigma squared for the sample. So, from here, this one lang. So we know that the mean value is equal to the sum of the sample divided by n. We know this one. Well, this one, itong data na to, uh, take, uh, mu squared plus theta squared is equal to this expression. So pag sinolve natin, ito yung estimator. So ito lang siya. Uh, this value, ito yun, minus na mean squared. So, uh, squared nyo lang. Ililipat nyo lang to sa kabila. Okay? Uh, magiging minus mu squared lang siya. And it will become like this. So by manipulating the expression, so meaning, lalagay lang natin siya sa sigma, ito ay magiging yung x bar, ay ito, x bar natin, so 1 over n squared times n mo lang siya kasi i-distribute natin yung n. So, di-distribute, maging times n, ito ay uh, n lang siya. Okay? So, by simplifying or further simplifying the expression, magiging ganito siya, and this is like this. And take note for the sample, ito ay n minus 1 dapat. So, meaning, our estimator is a bias estimator kasi hindi siya pareto. Uh, standard deviation ng normal distribution. Okay? Now, let's have the gamma distribution. We did, we did not discuss gamma distribution from the continuous uh, distribution function, but uh, if we have this expression for your expected value of x and the expected value of x squared, r times r plus 1 over uh, lambda squared. So, we're asking to calculate for the R and the lambda in terms of yung expected value natin. So, from here, we know that your R is just the, the mean value, x bar siya, for the sample. While, from here, if we uh, distribute this one, this is R squared over lambda squared plus R over lambda 
square. So we will need to get this value. So from there, uh, ito, lilipat lang sa kabila. Magiging lang siyang uh, expected value of x squared minus this one is r over lambda quantity squared. Kaya magiging lang siyang expected value tapos squared mo yung expected value na. Okay, ano yung hinahanap natin? Yung expression ng uh, r at saka yung lambda as estimate. So, by simultaneous expression, so yung simultaneous equation solving for your r and gamma, masasolve mo first yung gamma. Kasi, uh, just uh, r over lambda over r over lambda squared siya. So, ito, magiging siyang reciprocal. So, times lambda squared over r. So, cancel, 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 cancel. So, by, ah, sorry, by, by uh, this expression, you can have this from the two expression. Then, yung r, solve nyo na lang, multiply nyo lang siya. Ayan, this one. Okay, so that's the estimate. So, this is just more on the manipulation of your, uh, from this expression, uh, let's answer this one. Using the time to failure data in tables, itong table na to, we can estimate the parameter for the gamma distribution. So, gagamitin lang natin tong estimation na to. So, need to get the x bar at saka yung sum ng uh, x i x squared. Kasi ayun lang yung data na kailangan mo. Yung, yung mean, which is the x bar and sum ng x yung mean at saka yung sum ng x squared. So, from this, this data, substitute nyo lang. So, x bar is 21.6 for 6 squared over 1 over n times summation ng ito yun, minus uh, squared. So, 1.29 yung r, yung lambda. Ganun din. So, x lang po. And same yung denominator. Same yung denominator. So, that's 0 0.05 90. So, from there, you can do the, the estimation for R and lambda. Okay? Now, the maximum likelihood estimator, the MLP. So, suppose that X is a random variable with probability distribution. Ito yung function mo of X and theta, where theta is a single unknown parameter. Let X1 to Xn be the observed value in the random sample of size n. The likelihood function of the sample is just this one. So, likelihood function of theta is equal to f of x1 to theta times x of 2 theta and so on and so forth. Note that the likelihood function is now a function of only the unknown parameter theta. So, the maximum likelihood estimator, MLE, of theta is the value of theta that maximizes the likelihood. Function. So, kung nagma-maximum tayo, this is always the uh, first derivative. Yung first derivative, yung L prime theta is equal to 0 for the uh, maximum likelihood function. Okay, so first uh, derivative. So, let's continue with our example. So, we have the Bernoulli distribution, MLE. So, let x be a Bernoulli random variable. The probability mass function follows this one. So, where x is a 0 and 1. Where p is the parameter to be estimated, yung probability. Take note, um, uh, binomial distribution is a repeated process of Bernoulli's function. So, the likelihood function, yung L ng p natin, ito yun, is equal to the function of p, which is no x and you multiply it with all the parameter. Okay, so pag power ang variable natin sa taas siya, uh, you use hindi sigma notation but yung uh, ito, yung pi from i1 to n. So this one is for exponential function. From this one, we have this one, we can uh, express this as a uh, change from 1 to n nito. So, pag kinumpit nyo, magiging lang siyang summation, summation yung sa taas. And, getting the ln 
kasi power siya. So, magiging LN siya. Meaning, ito yung expression, no? And you get the first derivative of this one. So, DL, LN ng L, E over D. So, derivative nyo lang to Magiging 1 over P. Saka 1 over 1 minus. Ito ay, ito, constant divide by 1 minus. They call yung derivative. And they should be equate to zero for it to be uh, MLE, maximum likelihood in distribution. So, by equating, makukuha natin that your p-value is equal to this one. Summation ng xi over n. So, that's the probability. Sa so, example 7 dash 11. Normal distribution, MLE for mu. Let x be the normal random variable with unknown mean mu and known variance sigma squared. The likelihood function of a random sample size n is this one. So, ito yung expression natin, di ba? Yung function ng normal distribution. Kung naalala nyo, this is the normal distribution function. Function. Okay, so, yung 1 over sigma. So, dahil power siya, so, P. So, pag ginawa yung summation, uh, magiging ito lang yun, yung summation. So, you get the ln of your power and get the first derivative and this is equal to 0. So, ang uh, estimate ng mean natin is just the uh, mean value of your sample. Same as uh, the moment estimate. 